What makes a neighborhood a neighborhood? Is it the families that live there? You should stay downstairs, auntie. The kids playing in the park? And can a neighborhood stop being a neighborhood? To me, it changed dramatically because, I mean, you see how it is now. It's all quiet. You don't really see nobody out. So how could someone like Deshay Wilson, who has lived at his Booth Street home in Milwaukee's River West neighborhood for 37 years, feel like it's not his neighborhood? I mean, this is, this is all I know. This is the only place I've ever lived for, ever. It's not easy to grasp. It's one of those things that happens without noticing. You only see it when you reflect on the time gone by. How you doing? My name is Deshay Wilson and this is the east side area known as River West area. We asked Deshay to show us his neighborhood, how he sees it, to be vulnerable and honest with us. It was up to him what to show us, where to go and what to talk about. He remembers being friends with his neighbors, but now... I don't know nobody no more. Because of what he describes as forces beyond his control. I would say it is a gentrification thing. You come across holding this way east, you don't really see too many black families no more. This block, it had, like I say, a lot of ethnic backgrounds on this block. And all the kids, they played with each other, no matter if he was black, white, blue, green, purple. It's like he's a stranger in his own neighborhood. But you like but this the neighborhood, is, you know? Yeah, I was finna say, this ain't no bad neighborhood to live in. It's, but as he looks across the city, I love it. His city, with his old neighborhood in the background, he gets inspired to make things better. I'm working on a, a non-profit organization. Um, I basically want to do it for the kids, where I can maybe feed the homeless and have some of the neighborhood kids come help me, you know, just to, just to get things going. While that's still in the works, Deshay is also part of a one-man beautification team. Across the bridge. He's always picking up trash from the side of the road. And then I just started doing it. Just picking up the trash, you know? Even if it's not the neighborhood he grew up in, it's still his neighborhood. And a good neighbor always takes care of their block. I asked Deshay one final question. If there was anything left, he wanted to say. I love my hood, man. When it all sums down, it all boils down to it. That's the only thing I can say, man. I love my neighborhood, man. On Booth Street, in the River West neighborhood, James Grow, today's TMG.